It's been a week since the FDA gave the full approval to the Pfizer vaccine. New at 6 o'clock, CBS 17 digital reporter Jenny McCrary digging deeper and found that decision is already having an effect on our vaccine totals. After dropping earlier this month, last week's numbers leveled off. And an expert says the move by the FDA is a reason why. I think there's definitely reason to believe that the full FDA approval has contributed to a consistent number of first doses that are being administered. This chart shows how many first doses we gave each week this month. Last week's total only slightly down from the week before. So in other words, we haven't seen numbers drop in, in first doses. Elizabeth Ramsey runs the vaccine clinics at UNC. She says the FDA's announcement did a couple of things. It took care of one reason people claimed to be hesitant, but it also opened the door for employers to require the shots for their workers. There are lots of moving pieces, and it's I think it's hard to isolate the, the actual um, you know, motivation behind it, but the most important thing is that the traffic is still there and people are, are still coming to get vaccinated. A survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation finds three in 10 unvaccinated people said they'd be more likely to get the shot if it had full approval. Three out of 10 in our state works out to another million people getting their first dose and would push our rate higher than 70% of adults. If those numbers are true, then um, not only are you know they motivating for patients to be able to um, to want the vaccine, but now access is is great and people can get it pretty much wherever they want. Ramsey expects demand to climb back up in the coming weeks and months. Find out why in my story online for CBS 17 News. I'm Jody McCrary. Jody, thanks. It's